Happy Wednesday, wonderful second graders. We're joined by Leah today. Hi. A first grader at Walnut Grove who's going to help us go through our schedule for today and our learning. So what is the word of the week? Do you remember? It's convenient. Now, Leah, isn't it convenient that I have a sticky note right here? Yeah, it helps me find the page more easily. Yeah, it's very convenient. So we know that convenient means when something is made to be easy. Um, go ahead and write down the definition and the synonyms and antonyms and then the part of speech for the word convenient. Okay, now next we're going to be reading The Adventure of the Three Balloons. Today you're going to write down how many words you wrote or read and then the words that you missed and in the gray box, how many you got total after you take away the words that you missed. And I'm sure it will be more than you got yesterday after practicing. So keep up your fluency. Now, math fluency. Um, for math fluency, you're gonna be doing your um, success book, or no, practice book, excuse me. So make sure you look at the calendar to see which book because you, since you have so many, it's important that you use the correct book. Um, so you're going to be doing some math fluency with subtraction, which is really important. Um, it is going to be the lesson three sprint on page 45. Set your timer for one minute. See how many you can get done using all the strategies that you know. Counting on, counting back, whatever strategy works best for you. Next, we're going to be doing some decodable passages. Now, this one has the pirate on the front. And you're going to be going to page 22. And on page 22, the rescue park is what you're going to be reading. And shark teeth. Yeah, kind of scary, but some good nonfiction. Then I want you to be on the lookout for those R controlled vowel words and highlight them because there are lots. For example, shark, R, and park has the R controlled vowel. So be on the lookout for those. I'll let you hold that. When you're done with your decodable passage book, we're going to be meeting on Zoom to hear or maybe see what Drake has to share for Star of the Week. And then you'll be doing math in your homework helper book. So you'll be doing page 85 reading, and then you'll actually be doing problems on page 87 and 88. When you show your work on Seesaw, make sure it's close enough for Mrs. Talat to see. She's going to be checking it. Then you'll head to PE. And after PE, you're going to take some time to look at Flipgrid, and you are going to look at Drake's video of um, him sharing his All About Me poster. You um, don't have to comment or anything, just check out the star of the week there. Then you're gonna write a beautiful letter for Drake that has all five parts. It's gonna be in pencil. You're gonna include those commas and you're gonna remember how adults use capital letters like we talked about yesterday. After lunch and you, after you run around, you get to do a fun mystery science and where you learn a little bit more about bats, which will be interesting. And after that, you get to do a little reader's workshop. And I can't wait to see and hear your reading on Flipgrid. I enjoy listening to that. Okay, friends, I'll see you on Zoom tomorrow morning for Star of the Week.